Okay. This is very nice because it's it's king and pawn ending stuff. Okay, Adiban just played g5, X clan, against you know the guy with a million names, right? Okay, so it's white's move. So let's analyze the two most likely moves. Uh, thanks, Itchy Kamira again. All right, we need two more subs or a thousand cents to dues in the next ten seconds. Itchy Kamira gets it a sub again. He he keeps doing it. Good job. Okay, so you could take this pawn, mm -hmm. or you could take this pawn. Okay, now he did take he he, he took this pawn. So let's look at the other one. Okay. Okay. Then I trade queens. And then I play king here. It's pretty obvious black's winning. And if you, you know, you give me two pass pawns, right? Yeah. So plus 1,000, it says. Plus 10,000. Now, the way you win this is interesting, okay? You have to put your king on f4. Then you're going to make the guy when he's queening. So I'll just make random moves. Yeah, okay. And then here... Then you play king f3, and the guy's going to queen, but, you know, not really. Okay. So instead of losing that way, he played hg. Yay, thanks, all right, Kelly, for the five subs. Now, it turns out both moves win. Okay, but he took with a queen. That's more forcing. I'm attacking your queen, and if you don't trade, I'm going to go there. Mm -hmm. If you take that, that transposes to the last variation. So he took that. Okay. Now the king and pawn ending is winning because Adiban took the queen. Adiban wouldn't have played g5 and queen g5 if black wasn't winning here. He knew he was winning. He he wasn't lucky like, ah, it's lucky Adiban's winning this king and pawn ending. It's not lucky. He figured it out and then he did it. Not, not lucky. Okay. So he played king here. And now he's, the guy's like, no, you, you can't move your king in. And he's like, all right, get your king over there. And he's like, fine. Okay. So he figured this all out. When Adiban played g5, he figured this out. Okay, black has one move that wins here. What is it? Um... Thanks, R.A. Kelly. You're the best. Thanks, Itchy Kamara. You keep giving me subs. You're the best. Everybody's the best. Um, king d4. Correct. King takes c4 is a draw. 9.99. Thanks, Ampidian. You, uh, if you take an, that, if you take and I take, it's a draw. Both mm -hmm. queen. King d4 puts him in Wang Chung. Everybody Wang Chung tonight. Um, if it's black to move here, I think it's a draw. King e3 loses to e5. So you have to take on c4 and draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's white's move. <clears throat> Truth hurts. White can't move. The only move that makes any sense, because king takes, king takes is an easy win. I go take your pawn. Is king here, but now I can take your pawn. And so now if you go here, I can go here. So when Adiban played g5, I think he saw this position. He saw takes, queen takes, takes, and he saw that the, this was winning. Go, everybody. Say. Yeah. Yay. That's a nice final position. If you don't know whose turn it is, you don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. But we know it's White's turn, and White's in Zugzwan because he can't move. White's position is better than perfect. But if he moves his king away from the pawn, that's bad. He moves the king away from that pawn, that's bad. Yeah. I knew from the day he was born he was bad. Your trail gifted a sub. Hooray.